Hi, I'm Kim Canniff, MD of Kingsmead Shoes. I'm standing here at Springfield Value Park. This is our store, or the remains of it. I'm absolutely devastated. Um, I don't know actually how you come back from this. We've lost three stores so far. And Under investigation, 12 masterminds planned and executed insurrection on social media, then lost control after looting spree. South Africa suffered an insurrection attempt this week with two provinces, KwaZulu-Natal and Hauteng, disabled and national fuel and food supply lines disrupted. It is the first such campaign organized and orchestrated on social media and shows the potency of the medium. Just over 38 million South Africans are now on the internet and 25 million of us are on social media. More than 70 people have died, at least 1,354 people have been arrested and 12 ringleaders are being investigated for a political campaign that has spiraled out of the control of its firestarters. The first arson protests at the weekend, in which 35 trucks were torched on the N3, which links Hauteng to KwaZulu-Natal and is South Africa's food and fuel route, started the darkest week of anarchy in the country's recent history. Information has now emerged that this was planned by intelligence operatives and other cadres loyal to Jacob Zuma. The former president is jailed at the Escort Correctional Center for contempt of court and his loyalists want him out. These are people with experience of running operations, said Deputy State Security Minister Zizi Kodwa at a briefing on Wednesday. News24 reported that Zuma's leading spymaster and the former ambassador to Japan, Tulani Dlomo, is one of 12 ringleaders being investigated by the police's crime intelligence and by state intelligence as being the architects of a political campaign of which they have lost control. The SA National Defense Force contingent deployed to end the violence was on Wednesday increased to 25,000 soldiers as the government battled to bring the situation under control. Overnight, 208 more incidents of looting were reported, 52 in Hauteng and 156 in KwaZulu-Natal. While Hauteng appears to be coming under control, the looting in Durban is being live-streamed as police prove either unable or unwilling to control the mayhem, which Ma'am Kolisi Kanda said had already cost the port city 15 billion rand in the week following Zuma's jailing. The insurrection was organized on social media once the 12 masterminds had crafted the strategy of chaos, according to senior ANC and intelligence sources who were interviewed by Daily Maverick on condition of anonymity. The chat messages in the graphic below have been filtered off social media and reportedly come from groups on WhatsApp and Telegram where the insurrectionists organized. The common theory now is that the truck burnings were relatively easy to organize because of the long tail of renegade MK groups, organized in new movements, active in the sector. They have been campaigning against foreign truck drivers and are regarded as being behind arson attacks on truckers for at least the past three years. Police have promised to clamp down but have not substantially dealt with the killings of more than 200 truckers since 2018. In November 2020, two truckers died and 30 trucks were set alight in anti-foreign driver campaigns allegedly by the All Truck Drivers Forum. From the N3 campaign, the plan was to attack symbols of white monopoly capital, which explains the looting of warehouses and more than 200 malls. Specific chains were targeted. Social media messages, such as these above, reveal what was discussed at the ANC National Executive Committee meeting at the weekend and which sources in intelligence have confirmed a part of the data pile being analyzed to find the ringleaders. We issue a stern warning to those circulating inflammatory messages on various social media platforms which are aimed at inciting violence and disregard of the law, said the Cabinet Security Cluster in a statement on Tuesday. The cabinet has asked the platform companies to track these messages and to take them down. The Police Cybercrimes Unit is also investigating the use of social media in incitement and as a key facet of the insurrection. 
These social posters above harvested from Twitter and other platforms show the political genesis of the looting and protest campaign, and its insurrectionary characteristics. They reveal that shutdowns were initially organized in ANC colors and that the release of Zuma is still a key demand. One of the messages tells organizers not to wear ANC colors. While the looting campaign has appeared to be organic and leaderless, an intelligence document seen by Daily Maverick says the organizers may have worked through disgruntled ward councillors and other local ANC leaders. KwaZulu-Natal is the most divided of the ANC provinces. Neither KwaZulu-Natal Premier Sile Zikalala nor Mayor Kounda have been able to condemn the mayhem without adding the rider that they do not agree with Zuma's jailing and support a presidential pardon for him. Social media accounts used by the so-called Radical Economic Transformation RET, faction of the ANC are high-fiving the worst violence and keep appending posts demanding Zuma's release to these. One of the social cards shows the early advertisement of a rampayosa must fall march on July 30, which seems to be the ultimate outcome of the protests, to displace the current establishment of the ANC with the RET grouping. Daily Maverick was unable to confirm whether or not this march will go ahead. This grouping has revealed its desperation with the campaign of violence that kneecapped South Africa. A reformed national prosecuting authority has put key players like suspended Secretary General Ace Muhashule on the defensive as he faces free state-related corruption charges in court in August. The ANC itself has put its own reform into top gear. In the past week, it has suspended RET spokesperson Carl Nyhaus and Pumalanga leader Michael Ngrey Nguenya and on Wednesday suspended the Eastern Cape renegade politician Andile Lungiza. The RET feeder and funder networks have been disabled by the revelations at the Commission of Inquiry into State Capture, the institution whose work has turned up the heat so much that it has catalyzed what some are calling an attempted cope this week. The insurgency or riots reveal the potency of social media as an organizing tool. For a population of 59.67 million people, South Africa has 100.6 million mobile connections, people have multiple SIM cards. There are now 38.19 million internet users in the country, according to the Ornico SA Social Media Landscape Report released in June, and 25 million of those are active social media users. So, it's no surprise that the protests and looting are likely to have been organized on WhatsApp, or Telegram, which is preferred by political carders, and then amplified on Facebook and Twitter. But social media is also being used to stage a counter-rebellion of the good. Communities are organizing themselves into watch patrols and cleanup teams to seize the upper hand from the organizers of a campaign that has halted the optimistic momentum of South Africa's vaccine drive and which threatens the green shoots of economic recovery from the devastating COVID-19 campaign.